Wilson. Where's Wilson? Look what we did. Okay, it's probably hard to see. Let's move. Last night we spent a couple hours making my bike mullet. I'm so excited. So we didn't film uh, the install because it would have taken way too long. It was really complicated swapping everything out, but yep, I ordered the link from specialized.com using our employee pricing. I got the rim from there. And then we put on the Butcher Grid Trail T7s. That's all we had at the shop. Eduardo and I wanted to put on an eliminator in the back, but it's completely sold out. Can't we can't get them anywhere. Do, did you think the the swap was easy? It was pretty straightforward. Yeah, it was straightforward. Just nuts and bolts and yeah. just some time. That's all it took. Yeah, it actually really wasn't that bad. I feel like with how many steps it took, it, this was probably one of the easiest swaps yeah. that we've, or like, you know, things we've done to our bikes. Like really no major hiccups. Nope. So I am really looking forward to seeing if this makes any difference to my climbing. When I updated in a video about this bike, I really, I noticed really quickly that climbing is very hard. And ever since then, you know, having ridden different trails and different terrains, for sure climbing sucks on this bike. And so I don't know, maybe a 27.5, rear will help we'll see and i definitely am excited obviously to see how it descends because yes after riding so many different types of trails since getting this bike i i notice it feels big i'm only like five feet tall so being on 29 inch wheels on this bike is is pretty rough fingers crossed i feel a difference all right right off the bat do I feel a difference? I think I do. I think it feels a little bit easier. I really hope that's not just my wishful thinking, but yeah. Eddie, I think I feel a difference. Obviously I'm so slow, but definitely feels a bit more efficient. What is he doing up there? Wilson, Wilson. I really don't feel like I'm making it up. This bike feels more efficient as a mullet. I haven't been riding much. Actually, that's why we haven't been posting. Um, in early June, I had appendicitis. Yeah, I was hospitalized for a few nights and it took me a few weeks to really feel confident about riding. And then Eduardo and I got married, end of June. And then all of July, I was working too part-time jobs, you know, one at the shop and another one. And I just didn't really have a whole lot of time. Hey, over the past like three weeks, I've been starting my new job, which is really time consuming. That's why I took a break last school year, but now I'm back in it. And I just haven't been riding much, but even with that, I still feel like this bike has changed. Like I think that climbing is just a little bit easier because there's no way I'm in shape. I'm not in, I'm not in as good a shape as I was. So this is pretty exciting. Woo, mullet. All right, Let's see if the butcher in the back feels weird. Whoa, a little slippery. <laughs> eh, I don't know if it's just extra dry or if it's the different tire that's throwing me off. Probably yeah. Woo, things feel a little rattly on my bike. Uh, I think it's just dry. Ooh, a little stick there. All right, I hope Wilson's gonna be good. Oh man, yes. 
Wow, this feels amazing. Oh, you're stopped. This feels so good. Yeah. Uh, I guess you're already stopped. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I should have made a mullet long ago. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh, 27.5 rear. Yes. That felt so good. Whoops. Let's go. He's fine. Yeah, there he is. Go, go, go. right there the little turns that we got to take the s turns at the beginning there feel great so much better oh i'm so happy come on let's keep riding dirt church wilson dirt church <laughs> success oh yeah, yeah. 